Hey guys, it's Leanne with Outdoors and Country Living. It's August and the elderberries are ripe. So behind me is one of our elderberry plants. This is actually a wild one. We didn't plant this, but we have planted some others. So I'm gonna just show you how I harvest the ripe dark purple elderberries. I'm gonna put them in a plastic grocery sack and I'm gonna place them in the freezer for now. When I'm done dehydrating herbs out of the garden, I will transfer the frozen elderberries into the dehydrator and we'll have some dehydrated elderberries to use to make elderberry syrup with. So today we're just harvesting and then in a later video, I will show you how to make the elderberry syrup. But it's August and these berries aren't gonna wait, so I have to be ready for them. And I've got a helper here. Are you gonna help me? Yeah, you gonna help me today? Okay. So here's the cluster of elderberries where I trimmed it off. I'm just gonna place it in this plastic bag right now. My goal is to fill up this bag and throw it in the freezer. I just wanna mention elderberries are not to be eaten straight from the plants. They can make you sick. They'll give you a really upset stomach. So they do need to be cooked and processed to 140 degrees. That way you're not ill from it. But they are a really good medicinal plant to help fight off um, flus, colds, any kind of viruses, especially now that coronavirus is here. I don't know if it's effective against that, but uh, I've got to believe that it is. So I'm just going to keep pruning all of these very ripe elderberries off of here. That way we can make some elderberry syrup to keep our household healthy this winter. All right, so I didn't quite fill up my plastic bag here, but that's, that's a good taking off of this one tree. It's a pretty big sack, so. I'm just literally gonna twist up this sack and place it in one of our freezers. It does help when you have the freezer space. So if you don't have a chest freezer or an upright freezer other than the one on your refrigerator in your kitchen, this could be a little more challenging for you. I'm just gonna freeze them as they are. And then when I'm done using my dehydrator for herbs, I will transition over and start drying these berries. And I'm gonna dry them at 140 degrees in the dehydrator. Thanks for harvesting elderberries with me today. Some may wonder why I'm freezing them. I've found that if you freeze them, it's easier to get them off of the vines and the stems. And you don't wanna have them as part of your syrup. So freezing them and then just rolling them off of the vines into the dehydrator works best for me. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click the bell so you can get notifications each time we upload a new video. And make sure you share them and like them. You guys take care. Stay healthy out there. We'll see you later.